In today's video, I want to show you how you can get your Galaxy Watch 6 resyncing, reconnecting with your Android phone. Uh, this is going to work with any of the Galaxy Watch series, so a 4, 5, classic version, and then any Android phone, such as a Pixel 6a, which is what I'm using, otherwise uh, any Samsung or Motorola phones. Uh, as long as it's running Android, you can use these steps. So your Galaxy Watch uses Bluetooth and it uses Wi-Fi to connect with your phone. Sometimes those accidentally get turned off or sometimes it just loses connection for weird reasons. Easiest thing to do is to toggle on and off and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on on both devices. To turn Bluetooth on and off on your Android phone, go ahead and swipe down from the top of the screen. You can swipe down again. This reveals all your hot buttons here and you'll have Bluetooth. You wanna make sure that this Bluetooth is turned on and even though it was turned on on my phone, I just tapped it to turn it off and turn it back on just to reset things. In addition to that, you're gonna jump back on uh, our watch. I'm gonna unlock this. And from this point, I can see my watch is disconnected because at the top here, I get that little funky icon of a phone with a slash going through it. We're going to go ahead and swipe down from the top of the screen and go to this gear icon right here. That takes me into settings. Under settings, I wanna to go to connections. And then under connections, I can see my Bluetooth is turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on. And if your Bluetooth is on and it's not connecting, toggle it on and off, just like I did, so that that also resets. Then you can just hit this right upper button to go back to your main screen. Your watch should get rid of that little icon at the top and automatically reconnect to your phone. Now this doesn't always happen. If you do this and it still doesn't wanna make a connection, the next thing I would recommend you do is restart both devices. To restart your Android phone, you pull down from the top of the screen, pull down again, and at the bottom here is this little power button. It's got, uh, it's in the very right lower corner. Tap on that, and then I would go to restart to restart my phone. To restart my Galaxy Watch, pull down from the top of the screen, and then right here, uh, you'll actually see that there's a power button in the middle. I would go ahead and tap on that. And then to restart the watch, I would go ahead and tap that power button right there. And essentially what that's gonna do is that's gonna shut down my watch. So let's go ahead and press that. You'll see the Samsung logo and then my watch is actually gonna, the screen's gonna go blank. And at this point, it's actually just shut down. To restart your Galaxy Watch, there's this button in the upper right. I'm gonna long press that for a couple of seconds here until I see the Samsung logo. And then it's gonna go through the startup process. When you get back to your main screen, enter your password to unlock your watch, and now you've restarted both devices, you'll still need to give it a minute or so to see if it syncs and connects back up. Now I no longer have the icon after restarting showing that the watch is disconnected. The other thing you can do is go into your Galaxy wearable app. And in this main dashboard, you got these three lines off to the uh, left. This takes you into your different devices. I can see my Galaxy Watch 6 is connected. Uh, so I also can verify that my watch is staying connected. If you've done the steps that I just talked about and your watch still isn't connecting, sometimes in trying to reconnect your devices, the location you're at, whether it's at your house or your business, the room you're in can even make uh, a difference with interference and stuff. For Bluetooth, uh, I would suggest trying all these steps again in a different spot at wherever your location is. Now, if you've done all this and it's still not working, uh, the next thing that I would recommend is you need to reset the watch. For some reason, something's not working right, and uh, just doing a, a full reset will allow you to get it reconnected to your device. I've done a different video on this channel on how to reset your Galaxy Watch, and I will link to that at the end of this video. It'll also be linked down in the video description. My name is Jeff. I appreciate you watching. If you happen to spot Tinker, this little robot popping up during this video, we hide Tinker in every video on this channel. And uh, if you're the first person to let me know the timestamp, that is the amount of time into this video, that moment when he pops up, if you're the first person down in the comments section below to let me know the timestamp, we will put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. 
as well as give you a shout out in one of my future videos. So let me know if this video helped you out. If it did, take a second smash that like button. Be sure to check out my other Galaxy Watch tips and tricks videos as well as my best apps for productivity, games, music, and more. Those videos will be linked down below as well. I do appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.